Trevor from High Viz Shooting Systems is on a hunt to showcase their High Viz Tri Viz shotgun sight for hunting whitetail. Trying to uh, get us a uh, whitetail to come in and uh, see if we can shoot them with a slug with our uh, Tri Viz sight. Much cooler today. Uh, got some wind, so we'll go out and, uh, and see if we can get one to come in this morning. Tempted to maybe take that one. He had probably about he was probably about an eight eight inches of antler. Not total. <laughs> yeah, not an eight point eight inches of antlers. Well, looks like we got some does coming in right over here. About four of them. Let's see if we can get one out in front of us. This one in front of me turns here. That's a dead doe right there. That's a good shot. That's a dead deer right there. Perfect lung shot. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to track. Well, we uh, had a bunch of bucks in here yesterday on the camera coming this morning and uh, didn't want to come in for us. Had a little spike come in, so it's getting kind of late. We just had four does come in and we got one. The uh, tri-vis worked nice and uh, always fun hunt with a slug when you get close shots like that. Um, and there isn't much that does a better job than a slug. They're pretty devastating at the range you can use them at. I'll give her a couple minutes and we'll go, go find her. Well, let's go see if we can find us a doe. I get a couple of shots, I'll come help look too. Definitely a good shot. Uh, she bled a fair bit there. I saw her run off and I could, I could see blood coming out, you know, and she went in, but a lot of times like they do, they'll go in and kind of hook on you instead of running just in a straight line and go under some brush or in some brush. Here she is. A yeah, nice, nice shot right behind the shoulder. And uh, <clears throat> you know, shotguns, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just such a workhorse. Shotgun can do everything, you know, with a slug inside of 75 yards, you know, you can't get really much better than that. And they sure are fun to hunt with at close range, especially with open sights. <clears throat> with that tri -vis, you can really see, doesn't obstruct the target. You can see around it, you got a really good field of view, so you can see above and below your sight picture, see exactly where you're aiming. Made a great shot, that's a nice doe. That's a good sized doe, 
get her loaded up in the truck and uh, uh, not a, not some of the bucks we were looking for but uh, it, shooting any deer is uh, exciting and uh, <clears throat> you got to manage them all so get her loaded up and get her get her back to camp us as hunters we have to conserve game and part of that is management so you got to shoot does you got to shoot bucks everybody likes to shoot things with horns you know who, who doesn't but I like to hunt, I like to shoot deer, and uh, to me it's not a downside hunting does. It's all exciting to me and I like it. Yeah, that doe gave us a great opportunity. That was, that was a, kind of a perfect setup for the end of that morning hunt. Uh, we're gonna go out and set up here uh, in another spot where there's been a couple bucks coming into and probably some hogs too, but hopefully we can get a buck to come in first and uh, see if we can uh, make a good shot on one with a slug. Got a good feeling about this one. That's what I said yesterday also, but. There's a buck, buck coming in from the left. Got her done. I think that tracking job will be shorter than the last one. <coughs> well, that was a pretty good, uh, kind of a simple hunt. Standard field grade shotgun. Upgrade it with a trifid sight and a slug. And uh, I'd say that uh, it's probably about a 65, 70 yard shot on him. And dropped him right where he stood. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, it was really hot yesterday. Uh, morning and afternoon, we really didn't see anything. Saw some hogs right at the end of the day yesterday. Well, and a few, uh, just a couple does, but we were really looking for a buck. So set up uh, this morning in a field that some bucks have been coming to. And of course they didn't show up, you know, so we shot a doe this morning and uh, came to this spot here and uh, had a couple bucks that have been coming in here and had a little spike come in first and uh, then a few does and they kept kind of running around and wind kept tur turning on us and they kind of had us made there for a little bit. And, uh, but we just waited out. We're about 45 minutes before dark and we had a nice little buck come in. <clears throat> Take a look at him. Yeah. <laughs> 
And there he is. He's not a monster, but he's nice. <clears throat> yep, nice little ten pointer. This is our fourth hunt, second day. Uh, hadn't seen any bucks, you know, other than a couple spikes. So, uh, so, you know, Wade said, you know, if you see something, you like it, go ahead and take it, you know. And I looked at him. He looked like a good mature buck. You know, he doesn't have a whole bunch of inches, but he's got a whole bunch of character, a lot of mass, and I couldn't quite see that. And I think I was deceived a little by his body size. He's just, he's a, he's a large body buck. It's just a really good trip, really good uh, uh, hunt, and uh, really exciting. You know, we, uh, yeah, I just encourage people to, to think about doing, say, even a handgun hunt, or a shotgun slug hunt, or, you know, something with open sights, close range, you know, a little bit more challenging. You know, and one thing about using, like the type of sites that we make, especially the tribe is, is that at no point while I was hunting did I ever give a thought to acquiring my sights or lining my sights or a sight picture because those sights are so bright, they're just always there present and it's very easy and natural for you to align the sights and acquire the sights on the target. In that late evening light, no problem. I mean, just perfectly. That's So it takes one worry out of your hunt. You know, am I going to be able to see the sights? Will it be too dark to make a good shot? You know, there's no problem there. I was just, I just had to wait for the, for the deer to give me an opportunity.